A tub of water, a splash of bleach, and a bunch of Legos. This tedious task is a building block for something much bigger. In a room filled with thousands of Legos stacked high behind him, it's not hard to see just how much Paul Wellington loves Legos. For me, it's a creative outlet. Uh, growing up, uh, my parents were divorced at the age of, uh, I was four years old when that happened. So, and then moving around a lot, different houses, different um, parents, it was the one constant in my life was Lego. So it really was a way for me to kind of focus in on building. That focus led to a master's degree in architecture. He's also passed that love on to his daughter. You can literally build anything you dream of. Wellington wants other kids, no matter where they're from, to realize that too. It's a hope to inspire them to achieve things that they possibly could not achieve otherwise without having Lego in their life. He's just getting started on a local chapter of an international nonprofit called Pass the Bricks. People like him collect, clean, and sort the pieces to create small sets for kids for free. Which could be children who are, have low income, children who are in hospital, children who experience loss, maybe to do this with fire, so different things like that. And Lego, for me, was a great outlet, which led to a really good degree, so I want to kind of instill that in other children as well. Wellington has a lot to sort through. All of this was donated from just one person, and each piece has a purpose. It's great for various cogn cognitive skills, um, dexterity, uh, just teamwork as well, wanting to work with other people uh, for counting. It's great for math, so a lot of different reasons. Hey there, thanks so much for visiting the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links, hit subscribe to get notified anytime we post content to this channel.